Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel where I talk about health, detoxification, and how to heal thyself. So today I wanted to discuss uh, briefly before I do my next video on fats. Um, I wanted to discuss what a healthy human being looks like. Now these days it's really, really hard to distinguish sometimes between a healthy human being and a non-healthy human being because a healthy human being would have, say, shiny, uh, color-free, healthy hair, for example. Well, these days, you know, you can go to the salon and you can get your hair all done up and dyed and colored and it looks perfect and you'd never know that that person has, you know, really gray, brittle hair naturally. Or, you know, these days women can wear, or men I guess, can wear makeup, like tons of cover-up and mascara and all these different makeup items that cover up the true status of their skin. Now, you can also, you know, like people will wear, uh, they'll get fake boobs um, because they're not happy with the size of their breasts or they're not happy with uh, that they've sagged or, you know, but they can cover up breast health. Um, there are so many procedures and things that people can do to make themselves appear healthier than they are, that it's really tough to distinguish um, between a healthy human being, unless you know what to look for, of course. I mean, people can go and get fillers for their lips, right? Make them all plumped up. Um, they can get fillers probably for their cheeks too, and Botox, and like so many things, right? So I just basically, for some reason, felt probably because I've been getting a few messages, people are asking, oh, how old are you? Um, uh, what People are asking about my hair, they're saying, oh, uh, I see you dye your hair, it's really pretty, I like your highlights, things like this. So I just feel like maybe I should set the record straight here. I have only worn cover-up maybe four times in my entire life. From the day that I tried it, I couldn't stand it, and this was when I was really unhealthy, mind you, but it's just so suppressing and just something that you have to wash off. I can't stand that. So in my lifetime, I've never really worn cover-up. Um, I never will. So my skin, this is my skin. This is it. Like, there's nothing on it. Um, I've never, I've only worn mascara maybe five times in my life. I can't stand mascara. Um, in the past, I used to tint my eyelashes, yes, but now, uh, not anymore, ever. I don't put anything on my eyelashes um, and my hair. I don't color my hair anymore. I used to in the past. I used to go bleach blonde and I used to put a lot of chemicals on my scalp. Um, that's no longer the case. I haven't dyed my hair for about maybe six or seven years or something. This is all natural sun, sun-kissed highlights because I like to uh, get out in the sun as much as possible because sun is a key element in this health puzzle. Um, what else? I will never get breast implants ever. Um, I've worked with a few individuals who suffer with breast implant illness and uh, they get mold toxicity, heavy metal toxicity all these health issues that suddenly develop, well not suddenly, but they, they slowly develop from getting these um, breast implants in. And so I've worked with a lot of women who have explanted. So that's another thing. Um, I'm just trying to think of all these procedures. I will never do any Botox. I will never do any lip fillers. I will never do... Um, I don't even think I'm going to ever wear earrings again, to be honest. I used to uh, be a girl who had quite a few earrings. I had piercings here. I even pierced my eyebrows. I had my tongue pierced. I had my belly button pierced. That was when I was, uh, how can I say? 
I feel that I was uh, blocked up. I was a... Anyways, it's hard to explain, but earrings, they block energy flow. Putting metal into your uh, body blocks energy flow. And this is why I don't really wear earrings. I, I, if I can push them back in, maybe on a special occasion, I might put some in. But other than that, so... And I'm not wearing contacts. And I'm, you know, the only makeup I wear is I wear a little bit of eyeliner. I make my own eyeliner. I make it out of charcoal, arrowroot uh, powder, and water. And I mix this up. And yes, I wear a little eyeliner. I feel that it's health promoting in a sense. Um, other than that though, I, I don't wear makeup, um, maybe a little chapstick, so I just wanted to set that record straight and I wanted to quickly, you know, talk about how it's just so hard to tell if people are healthy, you can't tell if they have grey hair, the makeup makes them look fabulous, the, the mascara, like, all these procedures, some people go overboard and you can tell it's all, you know, fake and done up and but those who you know do the subtle nice uh, well I'm not saying it's nice to get all these procedures or anything but those who um, do it in a more tasteful manner you can't tell but the thing is no matter what you do right true health comes from within uh, beautiful skin comes from within like clear eyes um, the whites in your eyes and, and the color it all comes from within and as we cleanse and heal, you'll notice eye colors changing, um, you'll notice your teeth getting whiter. Um, so, you know, true health does come from within. And you can go and get all the teeth whiteners and all the fillers and wear as much makeup as you want, but at the end of the day, you know, eventually that stuff wears off and you have to keep doing it. And in a sense, it's kind of, uh, you know, it may make you feel better, but truly, if you really want to feel better, it's best to just focus on uh, diet and healthy living and that's going to be the true, you know, uh, beauty routine, basically. That's what I found anyways, because, you know, I've been in that world, well, halfway in that world, where I was dyeing the hair and wearing the makeup. Not, not too much makeup, actually. I never wore much anyways, but... You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I just thought I'd make this video for the record because I am getting some messages, people asking me about my beauty routine or, or you know, insinuating that I dye my hair or that I, you know, get Botox or something. No, I just naturally don't have crazy expressions, I guess. But I am almost 42 and in my past I was highly unhealthy and I was getting some gray hairs, I was getting some wrinkles, I was beginning to decline and I feel like I found this information like right in time. When I hit 35 I learned it. That's when I was kind of going downhill big time. My health was so bad, depression, crying, cysts, so many health issues like that I've listed in many other videos, um, you know, chronic fatigue, all, all these issues, and uh, I managed to turn it all around, you know, heal up most of those issues before I even went off roots um, within a few years. Anyways, and if I look kind of tired now and not so good, it's because I just did a two-day fast, a 24-hour dry fast, um, so, you know, I'm, I am a little bit down, um, but whichever and now I will you know I think I'll do uh, one meal a day of my giant applesauce which I absolutely love I blend dates in the Vita mix I throw in some apples I blend it a bit keep it kinda chunky and then I add raisins and cinnamon and I just eat a giant bowl of that and it's so delicious and satisfying and uh, I think that that's what I'm going to break this fast with um, I just did a 13-day grape fast where I was just doing one meal a day of only grapes. That went really well. Um, I just feel like I'm getting healthier and healthier as I uh, dig deeper and go in and out of these fasts, you know. And then, and then I'll balance out for a little while. Have some salads, uh, maybe some steamed veggies. Um, that's 
basically it. <laughs> Anyways, but <laughs> thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out my comments below because I am starting to learn how to elaborate on the things I'm talking about and post more links and videos and, and uh, create a web where you guys can kind of uh, navigate in and out and, and find more helpful information, hopefully, because that's what this is all about. I want to share this helpful information. I've never felt better than I ever have in my entire life. In my 20s, I was, you know, a lot less healthy than I am now. I even, you know, I had more wrinkles and health issues <laughs> than I do now. So, you know, I don't um, think that in your 40s you should be aging. I really don't. I think you should, I don't think you should be aging really, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to be making these videos for a long time, right? But we'll see. So happy healing, everyone. And uh, I wish everybody the best. I really do. Because we need a healthier world if we're going to turn the current status of our world around. It's just not looking good right now. But on the bright side, a lot of people are getting healthier and that creates a ripple effect and it um, they begin treating everyone around them better, they begin having healthier ideas, healthier mindset, it radiates, it ripples out, and that's what we need. Healthy people making healthier decisions to affect the whole. And stop eating meat, dairy, and eggs, and cheese, please, because that stuff's gonna bring you down. Ciao.